What's up guys, it's Alex here, your friendly reef dog. And today I'm gonna to tell you about a new piece of equipment I've got on my tank, the Reef Factory Thermo Control. Now I didn't buy this Reef Factory sent it to me and I already have a heating controller in my trusty old Simply Aquaria unit. So if you stick around to the end, I'll tell you if I'm gonna stick with a thermo control or go back to what I know. And if this is your first time at the channel and you want weekly reefing goodness, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out on anything. Right, let's get stuck in. Before I tell you about the thermo control, I'll tell you a little bit about Reef Factory. They're a new company based in Poland with a range of smart aquarium monitoring devices. Instead of using one centralized box like GHL and Neptune, they make several different pieces of equipment that has its own wireless module. The idea being to remove a single point of failure. Now that's the PR blurb, but what really stands out for me is that Reef Factory has a more modern and user-friendly approach to aquarium control than the current alternatives like Neptune and GHL, and the software is really intuitive and easy to use, which is right up my street. So what about thermo control then? Well, for those of you who don't already know, a temperature controller is quite simply a device that maintains your tank's temperature. It has two plug sockets, one for a heater and one for cooling fans, both of which you have to buy separately. A stable tank is a happy tank and temperature is a big part of that. And a temperature controller will help you maintain a more stable temperature than a heater alone. It'll also turn on your cooling fans automatically when your tank gets too hot, which mine does regularly in the summer. And if you have a heater that doesn't have its own thermostat, like the Shago Titanium I run on this tank, it has to have a heating controller to work. So if you don't already have a temp controller, they're a really good investment and you should consider getting one, regardless of whether or not it's the thermo control. My current controller is this £50 Simply Aquaria unit. Ultimately it achieves the same basic result as the thermo control, which costs £149. So what do you get for the extra money? For a start, the thermo control feels like a much more solid quality bit of kit. It comes nicely packaged and the main unit is made from a shiny gloss plastic. The socket on the left is for cooling and has a snowflake logo next to it and a blue light above it. And on the right is the heating with a heat logo next to it and a red light above it. Now those are nice little touches that I didn't get on my own heating controller. If you plugged your fans and heater into the wrong sockets when you're setting it up, the controller would heat your tank when it needs cooling, which would be an absolute disaster and a very easy mistake to make, particularly if you're new to the hobby. So while that's a small point, I'm telling you because it's indicative of Refactory's attention to detail. There's also a small soft light on top that tells you when the unit is turned on. It's not particularly bright, but its job isn't to light up your cabinet, so it gives a nice gentle glow. It also has a solid feeling temperature sensor that's on the end of a cable long enough to allow you to mount the main unit a reasonable distance from your sump. And it has a classy dual color temperature display that I really like the look of. The temperature is displayed in red and the unit, in my case Celsius, is displayed in blue. And finally it has mounting holes on the back so you can fit it to the inside of your aquarium cabinet. And it comes with a stencil on the packaging to make it easy to mark out where the screws need to go. It's app controlled and for me the app is what makes thermo control really stand out. Setup is easy and the app layout is excellent. It's nice and clear and instantly intuitive. It feels like a lot of thought has gone into making it very easy to read with loads of little touches that combine to make it instantly easy to absorb what the app is telling you. Now I absolutely love the app so I'm going to go into a bit of detail to tell you exactly what makes it so easy to read. The current temperature is displayed large front and center and can be set to Celsius or Fahrenheit. It appears in green numbers if the temperature is within your set levels, amber numbers if it's above or below your set levels and red numbers if it's above or below your alarm levels. There's a line that goes from the main temperature display down to the bar at the bottom and that line is also colour coded red, amber or green depending on the temperature and it jags out sideways either to the right or to the left to show if your temperature is higher or lower than your desired settings. Those may seem like small things for me to point out, but they make the app a pleasure to use and mean that you instantly absorb all the information. Immediately below the temperature, it tells you when it's heating or cooling your aquarium, and below that is your programmed temperature, which leads onto a line that shows your minimum and maximum temperature, as well as the high and low alert levels you've set. You set the temperature by adjusting the high and low temperature sliders. Now the sliders are perfectly responsive. I've had other apps where you adjust things by sliders, only for the slider to change from 10 to 9 when you lift your finger off, and that drives me crazy. But the Refactory app doesn't have that problem, which makes it fast and easy to use. On my tank, I've set the low temperature to 25.4 and the high temperature to 25.8. 
so when my tank is in that range, the heater and coolers are off. If the temperature goes above or below those levels, the fans or heater turn on until the temperature is back in range. And I've set it to alert me if the temperature dips to 25 or raises to 26.5. In terms of alerts, there are loads of options so you can choose exactly what you prefer. You can have a push notification on your mobile, as well as texts and emails. The LCD display also flashes A for alert and either H or C to say it's too hot or too cold. I personally prefer push notifications only, so I've turned everything else off. The push notification just pops up at the top of your phone so you can easily dismiss it or click it to open the app and see what's going on with your temperature. There's also an audible alarm on the unit itself that is unmissably loud. Now that will be great for most of the year as it will only go off when there's a problem, but at the moment in the middle of a heatwave in the UK, it goes off every day, so having the option to easily turn it off in the app is fantastic. On my current controller, you have to turn the beep off by pressing buttons on the unit itself, but I can never be bothered to do that, so I end up having to endure an annoying beeping sound coming from my cabinet. The app also tracks your temperature history and displays it in a nice clear graph. Now I found this really useful. It shows how big a swing I was getting during the heatwave, which told me I needed to turn the base temperature of my tank up to keep it more stable. Now that's something you probably know you should do during the summer anyway, but seeing the visualization on the graph really brings home how big the temperature swing was. As well as using the mobile app, you can log in online to access the same data, which means you can set, adjust and monitor your tank's temperature from anywhere in the world, either using the mobile app or with any computer with an internet connection. Now I asked Refactory if they'd send me to the Caribbean for a week so I could properly test that feature out for you guys. Sadly they said no. Rude. But I have used that a few times to drop in while I've been at work, and even while sitting on the sofa because I'm too lazy to open the cabinet and check the LCD display. Now there are a couple of things that I don't like about thermo control. The two plug sockets are angled towards each other, which is a bit awkward for me as my fan plug is huge, and the mounting template is part of the packaging, so if you use it, you have to deface the nice sleeve the box comes with. It's also quite expensive, and if you can't afford it, a £50 controller will do just fine. But this is a case where you very much get what you pay for. The thermo control looks and feels solid and well built, the dual colour LCD screen looks awesome, and my first impressions are that the app is better than any other I've seen in the hobby. It's genuinely brilliant and has some really valuable features. So will I be keeping this or going back to my trusty old Simply Aquaria controller? To be honest, if I hadn't been sent the thermo control, I wouldn't have bought it. But now I've got it, I love it, and there's no way I'd go back. I also love some of the other refactory stuff I've seen, so I'll be keeping a close eye on what they're bringing out next, and you can expect to see more stuff in my tank in the future. Now I'll put a link to the refactory website in the description so you can go and check out their other stuff, and if you want them to send me more stuff to tell you about, make sure you tell them in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video then, give me a thumbs up and subscribe for next week, and until next time, happy reefing.